Hi and welcome to Jokmok. I'm Stina and even if it doesn't seem so today, summer is coming and with that hiking season. So I thought it would be a good idea to talk about hiking pants today and what to think about when you choose hiking pants. But first, let's roll the intro. We are Stina and Matti. We run a lifestyle company in the north of Swedish Lapland. For living, we work as nature guys and dog mushers. This is our life, our dream and our home. You're welcome to follow us on the journey. Hi and welcome to a windy and quite chilly Jokmok. I'm Stina and I live and work here as an outdoor guide. Uh, we have started planning the hiking tours for the season and I thought it would be a good idea to talk about hiking pants today. What kind of pants that are the best ones for each and every one of us is very individual. So it will be ridiculous of me to sit here today and tell you which pants are the best ones for you. So instead I will talk about what you should think about when choosing pants and what you should look for before you go and buy a new pair of trousers. And in the end of this video I will also tell you what kind of pants are my favorites at the moment. So stay tuned! First of all, think function. Uh, what activities are you going to use your pants for? In which climate are you going to have them on uh, expedition tours, uh, shorter tours? You're going to use them in the desert, Nordic climate like here, summer, spring? Yeah, the questions are many. And I think, actually, I think most people also like me, I want a pant that it's a versatile pant that I can use in many situations. There are lots of different fabrics on hiking pants and each and every one brand have their own fancy name on their perfect fabric. Uh, I used to look for how tightly woven the fabric is. Are they windproof, waterproof? How stretchy is the material? And yeah, talking about waterproof, I'm also looking for fabric that are rather fast drying instead of looking for a totally waterproof pant. Because if you want a waterproof pant, you're probably going to end up with a pant with a fabric that doesn't breathe and you will end up all sweaty on your legs. Um, so I prefer to put on proper rain clothes instead. Uh, we have made a video about the uh, waterproofs, so I will put a link up here to that movie if you're interested. If you know you're going to wear more on certain parts of your pants, you can look for a pant with reinforcement on different parts. Um, usually there are reinforcements on the butt and the knees and the inside of the ankles is good. I myself like to look for pants with a combination of different materials. So it's both like a rough thick material and then stretchy, uh, some stretchy parts as well. And I also look at how tightly woven the fabric is because I don't want the mosquitoes to bite through. Uh, that was one important thing for me at least. Other aspects to look for is if the material is made of organic material or recycled material. Uh, where are they produced and how are the working conditions for those who make them and in which country are they made. That's important stuff that I think everyone and each of you should think of. So we're going to talk about details. Uh, one detail is pockets. Do you even use pockets? Uh, how many pockets do you need? And what are you going to have in your pockets? Are you going to have uh, the pockets going to room a map? your phone, a knife, yeah, 
ask yourself what they're going to use the pockets for and look at the size of the pockets and how they are closed, zippers, velcro, what kind of pockets do you prefer? Another thing to look at is the zippers and the buttons on the pants. Are they of good quality? YKK uh, zippers are usually very good. Are they easy to open and easy to close? Um, maybe the zipper could be too easy to open. And I know like Matti had a pair of pants some years ago. They open by themselves all the time. And that's not so nice when you sit and they are open. Then we have the boot straps and boot hooks. Uh, there are many different kind of systems for bootstrapping. Some pants doesn't have it at all and maybe you prefer that. I myself prefer that they are wide enough when they're open so you can put them over your boot and then tighten them so you don't get gravel and stuff inside your boot. Uh, some pants also have a boot hook. Uh, this is something I don't really like uh, and maybe that's because I don't use them either but they stuck up in my shoelaces by themselves and if I want to take off my shoes quick if I have sneakers on they are stuck in the hook and it's really hard to take them off. Another detail is ventilation. Um, some pants have ventilation and others not and some have ventilation with an inner mesh and others without. Um, there are some pants that doesn't have any ventilation at all, like these ones. Uh, very simple pant but uh, lightweight because there are not so much zippers and stuff on it. Um, then you have very much hiking pants have at least a, a ventilation up by the thigh, either on the outside of the thigh or inside of the thigh. Um, this one have with a mesh and these ones have no mesh at all. The mesh is like a small netting to keep out the bugs. Uh, I thought bugs should be a problem from the beginning so I liked pants with the mesh but after trying pants without the mesh I realized that the bugs are not such a big problem because uh, I have the ventilation open while I'm active and as long as I'm active and moving the bugs are no problem in the ventilation holes uh, and if I stop to take a break I usually get colder and then I sip the ventilation and so yeah it's not a problem for bugs actually. Uh, what I see with the mesh is that you don't get so good ventilation if you have a mesh because it stops a lot of the air and yeah. Uh, so um, ventilation up by the thigh is very common and like this one have ventilation both up and down here. Um, and some pants have ventilation all the way so you can open up totally or on the inside of the pant. What you can see when you have it on the inside of the thigh is that uh, the zipper can, can rub a little bit when you're walking. So I don't like that. It's better to have it on the outside, I think. Um, yeah, there's also pants. I have never tried them with a zip up function. Uh, so you can, there's a zipper. Uh, so you can zip off the leg, part of the leg and make shorts out of your pants. Um, I never try them because I'm not a shorts person, but uh, I think it's a really good idea for those who like shorts. You can also look at the weight of the pants. Uh, it can actually differ a lot in the weight of different pants. Um, these ones are heavy pants, these are mattis, and I myself prefer a little bit lighter pants and my experience are also that the thicker pants are made of thicker uh, fabric 
and that also doesn't make them dry very fast. It takes a long time for them to dry if they get wet. So yeah, check the weight. There are super light ones. These are a lighter pant, but also without the zippers and lots of fancy stuff. And then you have the really heavy ones and then you have like mid heavy ones. Then we come to comfort and fitting and I'm sorry, but I can't give you any super good advice here. Uh, what I can say is go out and try different pants and models. Um, what size that or what pant that fits me and feels comfortable for me could be a totally different one for somebody else. We are all different but we have all different bodies and and yeah it's highly individual so go out and try pants if you order pants on internet look at the size guides measure yourself and you can also go out on uh, forums 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 <laughs> and ask others what their experience is of the certain pant that you're interested in that's the only advice I can give. It's very individual what kind of pants that fits you, me. We're all different. So yeah, go out and try. And price of the pants. Um, the price can differ a lot. Uh, there's super cheap pants and super expensive pants. And it doesn't have to be that the more expensive pants are the better ones um, but as I pointed out before um, look at what is the brand's attitude to their employees and subcontractors how are their working conditions and also are the pants made of organic and or recycled materials these are things that I think is worth paying some extra for and also look at the life length of the pants and calculate the price according to the life length. Uh, many times the more expensive pants can be cheaper in the long run. So what is my favorite pant? At the moment, my favorite pants are this one that I'm wearing and uh, these are the Fjellraven Keb trousers. Um, the ones I'm wearing here, the black ones, on my second pair I bought these blue ones, were the first I bought and I bought them in 2015. So I have them for a really long time, so they, even if they're a very expensive pant, they certainly paid off. And what I like with them is they have a very good fit for me. Uh, it's a combination of stretchy material and this uh, heavier material. They are reinforced in the knees. You can actually put a knee pad in here if you want. They're reinforced in the butt and double fabric down here by the ankles. Uh, they have a good ventilation without the mesh. They have one ventilation up by the thigh and one down by the calves. Uh, that's very good. And their pockets are... Um, yeah, I can show on the ones I have. Uh, one pocket is only with buttons. Here I usually having the map. The map fits perfectly in this pocket. In the other one here on my thigh is a zipper. So here I wear my phone or other stuff I'm really afraid to drop. There are no, no pockets on the butt. That's what I like. Uh, they're not very heavy and they're not a super light pant either, but they dry pretty fast. They have a good uh, boot strap. Uh, and yeah and they are out nowadays i don't know with my first pair but now um, 
the Fjellrevenes is uh, had their uh, G1000 fabric, and now it's made in Echo. We call it G1000 Echo, and so it's now it's made out of organic cotton and recycled polyester. There's only one thing I don't like with these pants, and it's the boot hook. As I talked about before, I don't use them and the boot hook in these pants tends to hook up by themselves in my shoelaces, especially in sneakers. And really irritating when they are stuck if I want to take, out the, take off the sneakers fast. And yeah, another thing. I've had these for five years and washed them many times and it's still, the colors are still okay. So that's very good. And to not forget, I don't need to buy new pants every year or even every fifth year because these are still in very good condition so they don't make a very big environmental footprint. That's very good. So that was all from me for today and thank you for watching. If you have some other tips about what you should look for when choosing hiking pants please write it down in the comments and share it with everyone and if you like this video give it a thumb up and don't forget to subscribe if you want more outdoor tips or follow along on our adventures uh, take care have a great day bye